In this video, I will be touching bases on drop shipping through Shopify. The first step was starting any brand. You want to figure out your brand's identity, so you want to figure out a theme for your brand. Pick your theme, make it match the brand, match the feeling. You can also edit the templates. They do have different Shopify um, packages, I believe, where you can get access to more customizable templates um and customize them even more that way if you know how to do coding they have coding templates things like that my theme is pretty simple the name i store is 96 lux my slogan is because you deserve luxury you are luxury um so pretty much i just wanted to feel very simple very clean but also very elegant at the same time so the theme i choose i think it's called debut i love it it's girly it's sophisticated it's my brand if you have any stores like you use as examples that you want to model your business after i would say um honestly you can model your store after those other stores you use for inspiration i think about when i'm doing my store i think about the stores i would buy from and what they look like so pretty much i want my customer to be able to feel the same way like oh i like this i would shop here second you set up your Abrello drop shipping store um it'll give you different packages and payment prices you can choose from um i just use the free one for right now it works fine honestly the access to the products i have even with the free account is amazing and i can't imagine and what it's like with the one you have to pay for like girl crazy of course it asks you for payment information it asks you for your address like your store address where your store is located um for billing purposes it asks you what site you want to use i believe it uses aliexpress and a few other places i chose aliexpress only because i'm already familiar with aliexpress from using it previously in other transactions so i use aliexpress do you download the albrello app on your desktop phone ipad wherever um you can start downloading products to your Shopify store through Auburlo. Go to the homepage, they have things that say women's clothing, men's clothing, children's, any, literally anything you want, it's on there. It is on there, I promise you, anything. Um, so say you want this dress here, you click add dress, boom, it's in your product queue. You can edit the pricing, you can edit the pictures that are gonna be displayed on the website. You can choose the title, what category you want the product to go in, all that good stuff. While you're developing your catalog of clothing on your store and you're you know, selecting the products you want through Auburlo, um, I would say it's very important to look at the customer reviews look at the product so when the product pops up when a product that you want <laughs> shows up on a burlo and you click it of course um it will say view in aliexpress so click that link and what that link will tell you and show you um is how many people are buying the product um the reviews on the product the shipping cost of the product the sizes and variants it comes in and it also gives you a bigger library of pictures to choose from to upload to your shopify store if you wish to do so please be sure to pay attention to the customer reviews um for that specific vendor because sometimes if you look at reviews it will say oh uh products never came material is cheap quality isn't good da, 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 da. so you want to make sure that the vendor you are using um is reliable and have a good history with customers because if something goes wrong with the third party um aka um, aliexpress you want to be able to make sure you can reach out to this seller and uh, you know see what's going on contact them come to a middle ground if there are any shipping issues product issues things like that on to pricing okay so when we're uploading and choosing these products we want in our store um we're editing the variants all that good stuff when we get to the pricing component um you want to make sure you are covering the shipping costs from the aliexpress site in your products price recently i just added this beautiful beautiful like silk two-piece set right um on aliexpress and said in order for the customer to get this product in two weeks, you will need to pay $45 worth of shipping via UPS, FedEx, whichever you have it. Um, it'll give you different options. So it will say for UPS, two week shipping, $50. For FedEx um, shipping for six to 10 days, that'll cost X amount of dollars. So it gives you different options to choose from for shipping. If you wanna compare 
to see what your competitors are selling the same type of item for. Because of course, you know, your competition is your competition for a reason, right? Whether it be prices, services, products, you want to see what they are doing comparison to you. If you're going to jack up the price on something, make sure the product looks like it's worthy of the price you're jacking it up to. <laughs> um, make sure it's a good quality of course, and you'll know that from the reviews and things like that. Also, what you want to do um, when you're pricing items is to just test out different prices for different items to see what your customers gravitate towards and what they like, what they don't like, what they're going to buy, what they click on. Um, abandoned checkout tab, that abandoned checkout tab tells all, okay? Do not ignore that abandoned checkout tab on Shopify. Click that to see what your customers are leaving the shopping cart. And I will tell you a lot because at the shopping cart, on your website, it will estimate and calculate all the Shopify shipping fees on top of that. So <laughs> with the taxes, if you choose to add tax to your items and make sure you are pricing your products at a good point as to where you can still make a profit. Um, and also it covers the shipping costs. So my part two video to this is when I will be explaining the marketing methods of Shopify, how to market your Shopify store, how to increase and maximize those Shopify sales through ads on Facebook, Google, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want to know how to market um, your products through your Shopify store, please stay tuned for the next video for part three. <laughs> and I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share with the neighbor. Share this video for anyone who's interested in shopping with Shopify, using Shopify to sell products. Um, I hope this video is helpful. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.